ready here? Yeah. Good evening, thank you for joining us. Um, this is a very auspicious occasion. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Today's video, I think, is the first one that Ashley's appeared in properly, officially, rather than just a passing comment or something, for the whole thing in seven years. It's like Welcome. A, it's, it's like a royal <laughs> command performance. I have no choice. <laughs> Can I have a pen, please? You've taken my pen. My Christmas pen. It says, my Christmas spirit is gin. Mm -hmm. It's true. Ashley has joined us in an official capacity. We are going to do some questions that a lot of you, or answer some questions that a lot of you have left for Ashley and some for both of us. And in between all that, we are going to do some mince pie taste testing. Actually, Ashley's going to do some mince pie taste testing. Here we have, I can't tip it because it will chip up, mince, five different mince pies um, from various different brands. Ashley is going to do a blind taste testing. I can't do it because I know which ones they are because I put them on the plate. And um, choose which one he thinks is best by the end of that. So that will be going on as well while we answer the questions. What are you doing? I'm scoring the look of the mince pies. The look? Yeah, the, the look of the <laughs> mince pies. Are they getting different categories of scores then? I've got five mince pies. I'm scoring them from one to five for yeah. look, texture, taste. Ooh. Quite technical. I wasn't expecting it to be that technical. I thought it would be more just a score for how good they were, but three different scores. And then how are we going to choose the best one? Well, are we going I'll, to add I'll, it all I'll, up? I'm going to add the scores up. Yeah. All right. Okay. And I might just give another I think I need this gin and tonic. Right. Um, and I'm going to have my rating. I'm going to go also for my preference as well. And add that in. Oh, what an overall rating! As yeah, well. an overall rating as well as the individual characters. So four different. It's, it's quite serious mince pie scoring. Let's start with some questions. I'm going to give you an easy one to start with. One that you'll probably pontificate about for ages. Somebody would like to know what is Ashley's top tip for preparing to put your house on the market as we are hoping to in the spring. I'm sure he has seen it all when houses come to market and would be interested to hear his opinion. I should just add at this point, Ashley's job is, is an estate agent. So for anybody who doesn't know. My job is an estate agent. Thank no, you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was badly worded. Please feel free to reword it. No, I'll just accept that, but that's not really what I do. Actually, owns an estate no. agency. <laughs> right, okay. Um, top tip, if you're thinking of uh, selling your house, is do all the little odd jobs and make sure the presentation is excellent because shiny and new and well presented is money in the bank. Any other quick tips you want to share as well? Or the number one tip. Yeah, that's, yeah, uh, that's all right. You can do another one as well. You can share your great wealth of knowledge a little more if you like. Um, I would engage a professional local estate agent with many years' experience and a track record of selling properties in your area. You need to have someone who is amongst the most successful agents in your area because they are in touch with more sellers and buyers. Supply and demand, more sellers and buyers, more money again. What was your most memorable childhood Christmas gift? Ah, I wish you'd brief me on this one. Why? Well, I, I asked I think, you if you wanted me to, and you said no. Well, did, I did offer to share the questions because sometimes when I do a Q and A, okay, because you don't know this, but there's going to be a brief interlude while I go and collect something, and then I'm going to tell you. Da, da, da. Okay, here we go. When I was three, maybe four years old, I'm not quite sure. Um, a wealthy relation who we didn't really see very often sent me a present for Christmas. And I remember it being as tall as I was and fascinating and I couldn't guess what it was at all. And when I opened it on Christmas day, it was a Pelham Puppets Skellington. Now, recently, 
because I've remembered that for 50 years, I bought this on eBay, which is the very same Pelham Puppet Where Skeleton in the box, which I remember being as big as me, but as you can see, it's not, it's not as big as me. It's only as big as me. It's only as big as me when I was three. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. So, Pelham Puppet's bones. What it's, happened to your Pelham Puppet then? It's actually somewhere around, but I, I didn't have say, the box or anything. I not got it. Yes, it is somewhere around, Ash but it didn't have the box. Keeps everything. And I just remembered it for 52 years, and this year I re bought it on eBay. But it didn't even show me. No. There we are. Now you're most memorable, but that was, that was a good show and tell. Do you want to try mince pie now? Oh, well, um, do I have to try them in number order? Or, no, you can uh, try them in whatever order you like. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to answer a question while you try a mince pie. And one of the questions was, which areas of the UK are you looking forward to visiting when it's <laughs> safe to have a holiday? Um, you might know that we booked a holiday in the UK earlier this year, back in the autumn. Um, I always think November is still autumn, but November's really winter, isn't it? Anyway, it's December now by the time they're watching this. Um, yeah, so we booked a holiday in the UK and we were going to go to York. We've always wanted to, both of us separately, I've always wanted to go to York. We've, well, not go separately, but we've both been keen to go to York. Neither of us have ever been and it's a place we'd like to go. Are you trying a mince pie or are you just going to listen to me? No, I wanted to go to York in a long ship wearing a helmet with horns on. <laughs> I'm going to try mince pie number one. Okay uh, then. <laughs> um, but you, yeah, so York is somewhere that we've really liked to visit. We had to cancel that because coronavirus numbers started going up and it went into a, um, a higher tier. I can't remember if it did that. We ended up going to Greece where coronavirus numbers were a lot lower. But York is definitely on our list. I'd like to go back to Scotland again as well. We went to Edinburgh oh, about 10 or 12 years ago and um, yeah, I'd like to go back to Scotland and see a bit more of Scotland. There's loads of places in the UK, actually, that I'd like to go to that I haven't been to. I feel like the UK, we haven't travelled in it as much as we could. Uh, um, yes? Number one is not a mince pie, and so it's ruled out of the competition no, immediately. It is a twist on a mince no, pie. No, that is not oh a mince God, pie. Oh my God, he just thrown it on the plate. Absolutely. Um, whoever has told that's a mince pie, I'm sorry. I'm it's a twist on a mince pie. I um, wanted to buy one that was a twist, because no, lots of shops have got Not a, a mince pie, number one. <laughs> Take it very seriously. Right, so eliminated. Right, okay. Another question, Christmassy question. What film do you and Ashley love to watch together over Christmas? Miracle on 54th Street. 34th Street. 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 Yep. Both versions. We've watched both. Both, but, yeah. Both I actually like the newer version more. Mm -hmm. um, but the other one that we're looking forward to watching this year, we haven't watched any Christmas films yet because... It's we, not Christmas. Because we had a rule that we weren't going to watch anything Christmas... Not, nothing Christmassy until the 1st of December. Um... We don't usually do anything Christmassy till the 1st of December, but I know a lot of people this year have been putting stuff up early and getting into the Christmas spirit earlier, but I thought, as December's looking like a bit of a bleak month in Tier 2 for us, and for anybody else who's in higher Tier, you know, Tier 3 or lockdown or whatever, um, I thought we'd save up some excitement for December. But the other film we're looking forward to watching is the new Christmas Chronicles. Yes. We watched the Christmas Chronicles last year, the one with Kurt Russell, is it? Yes. Um, I really liked that, and there's a number two out, so I think that will probably be the first one we watch next week, won't it, when it's mm -hmm. December? Yeah, looking okay. forward to that one. Um, what's your favourite tin of Christmas sweets? To be fair, I don't really like the big tins of Christmas sweets. Give me Well, you two... eat quite a lot of bloody quality street when there's a tin of them. Well, your hand's that's... constantly in there. Yeah, give me two or three <laughs> nice handmade chocolates rather than a tin of um, uh, Christmas sweets please. I'll hand make some truffles for you then. Excellent. I'm going to try number two. I like the ones with the miniature Maltesers in. I never know if it's um, miniature heroes or the other ones, celebrations. It's one of those but whichever one has the Maltesery ones with bits of honeycomb in, that's the ones I like. What one are you on number two? I will unveil which these all are at the end of the video, by the way. 
better than the last one. Oh yeah, this is, it got the ugly prize, but actually it's quite tasty. Oh, well that's good then. Mm. Oh, he managed a bit more of it than he did the first one. <laughs> Mm. Right, this is an interesting question. If you and Ashley were to ho host a 12-guest dinner party, who would you invite and what menu would you choose? 12 guests? That's a lot of people to cook yeah. for. Something really simple. Let's go for less well, can guests. I have, well, can we make one of them a chef? Yeah, let's get let's invite Rick Raven. Stein. Oh, yeah, you like Rick Stein, don't you? Rick Stein can be one of the guests and he can cook as well. Well, actually, we'll have Raymond Blanc. He can assist. <laughs> Too many chefs, as they say. Because ten's still an awful lot. I haven't really got that many that... Uh, Can we make... have dead people as well? Well, I'm definitely having dead people. I'm having Alexander the Great as number one guest. Oh, I thought you might suggest your father. No, Alexander <laughs> the Great. That's so wrong. Mm. Alexander the Great. Yep. I always try, I get asked this one a lot. Who would you, would you be? I said the Spice Girls once. I thought they would be quite fun. <laughs> yeah, they would be fun. They probably wouldn't get on that well with Alexander the Great. I'm thinking though. Leonidas, King of the Spartans, because he'd get on well with Alexander the Great. They could compare war stories. I thought they fought against each other. No, they didn't. No, oh, did they not? No, no different okay. time frames. So. Okay. I'd like someone who'd been to space, an astronaut. Ah, well, you're going to go for Neil Armstrong if you're going to go for an astronaut, aren't you? Yeah. Probably, yeah? yeah. I'm liking that, yeah. Um... Who else are you going to go for? Oh, well. Bob Dylan. That's good. And maybe Socrates to chat to him because they, they get on well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who else? I reckon Henry VIII had managed the women at the party quite well, so we'll get him along. <laughs> Better get some girls for him to chat to. Better get plenty to drink. <laughs> and some penicillin. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't know yeah. about penicillin. Shot penicillin yeah, yeah, he, he would love that, right? Okay. Um, and what's the menu going to be? We've got to, I guess if Rick Stein's cooking, it's going to be fish based, well, isn't the, it? The thing is that if we've got Rick Stein and Raymond Blanc, you don't want to have him put on the menu. You just tell them to give, them, give us their best. Yeah. Yeah. They can choose. Saves decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, good plan. Right. Okay, let me just... Um, Oh, lovely question there. I think I need to swig a gym for this one. What is your favourite thing about each other and what is each other's worst habit? <laughs> I'm sure I want to put this on the internet. Yeah, I can't tell you about Caroline's worst habit. You'd never look at any of her videos ever again. <laughs> I just made that up. No, um... Fav My favourite thing, I think about you is that we laugh at the same things we have a very similar quite dark quite very <laughs> very dry sense of humor and we will quite often absolutely laugh like drains about the same sort of thing mm -hmm. um what's your favorite thing about me the favorite thing about you um something nice something nice <laughs> my no you've got lots of nice things about you so many that I can't really narrow it down to one, he says, like, with producing a diplomatic answer that's going to, <laughs> uh, to, to uh, win brownie points, hopefully. What's my worst habit, then? Worst habit, um, making a crisis out of something that isn't a crisis at all. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Mince pie number three. Ashley's worst habit is telling me that he's already told me something when he definitely absolutely hasn't. I hate that. He does that a lot. He says, I just told you that. I think, to be fair to you, you say it inside your head or you've thought it and you think that's the same as saying it. But a lot of the, you, you do do that a lot. Tell me you've already told me something that you categorically haven't. It can't be true. None of the people I pay to work for me ever say I do that. <laughs> Clearly you don't pay me enough then. <laughs> um, the next question was what annoys you the most about each other but I think that's um, covered that one. Um, how's the mince pie? Mm. Oh that was very positive wasn't it? Right, making a lot of annotations in his book about yeah. this one. Mm -hmm. This is number three. Mm. That one looked pretty at the top. 
Um, next question is, do you think you will ever move again? I would say, yes, we'll definitely move. I can't see us living in this house into retirement particularly. I think we will downsize, um, not least because this house is part of our pension, <laughs> ultimately. Um, there's big space just down there, ideal for a bungalow. What, you want to go and live in a bungalow? Or you want to sell the garden? <laughs> no, I want to move to the garden and we'll leave William in the house. Maybe. There's nothing worse than expecting your kid is going to want to live in your house. Why would William want to live here? Probably won't be able to afford a decent house anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> um, the way um, things are going with uh, you know, well, yeah. 98% Corona tax, VAT at 55% and... Um, him, God, don't. Don't. There we go. Yeah. But yeah, I, we will for sure move at some point. This is not somewhere that we would stay. It's too, it's too big for just two of us. It's... Um, I, I do hope that we finish it and spend a few years in here though. Next question is, do you choose thoughtful presents for each other or do you have hints dropped as to what to oh. get? Right, I have recently received a list of things that Caroline wants for Christmas with the links etc all on. She's neglected links. to um, figure out that throughout the year I have made a list of things that she's expressed an interest in and already brought a number of them. So, um, you know, I hope she's done the same for me or she's going to be embarrassed on Christmas Day. <laughs> I don't know how true that is. Actually, there's another question mm -hmm. about presents. What's your favourite gifts you've received from each other and your least favourite? <laughs> Ashley's a good present buyer. And I, do you know what? I actually think I am as well. I think you're more difficult to buy for. Oh, terribly I mean, difficult. You know, buy me a load of scented candles and I'm... Like a pig and I bought you a Dyson washing machine for Christmas once. That was going what to be else could a girl on want? my favourite gifts. I remember people saying to me, weren't you furious when your husband bought you a washing machine for Christmas? And I actually wasn't. I was desperate for this Dyson washing machine. It was, We didn't have loads of money at that point, did we? Um, you know, it, and it, it was, was an, an expensive, expensive washing machine. And I was so chuffed with it. It was so... But the bright colours, it, 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 I just loved it and it bloody lasted for years. It only gave up the ghost this year and I was sad to see it go. We did take it apart though, the bits that were still working and sold some of them on eBay, so that was good. And this year she's getting a steam mine and a hoover. <laughs> Mind you, she doesn't really need a hoover, the one we've got already is hardly used. <laughs> so I've done my favourite, what's my least favourite gift of it? I remember you buying me a pair of walking boots one Christmas. And I really wasn't excited about that. In actual fact, I wore them a lot. They were very nice walking boots. And it just wasn't something I was excited about at the time. And I was a bit disappointed with those. What's your favourite present from me? Desperately trying to think of anything I've ever bought him now. Yeah, memory's not what it used to be. Terribly sorry. What about when I bought you two nights at the hotel at the Shard? I like it. Like that, that was very good, yes. Yeah, I'm having to remind him of this, isn't yes. it? I've bought yeah. you many lovely things. I've had yeah, many, years. many lovely things, yes. I tend to buy you to, like, trips away and stuff, don't yes. I? Yeah, and I bought you a bird of prey thing last year for Christmas, didn't I? To go canceled. and handle birds. Yeah, coronavirus, so it got cancelled. But... Bird handling, yeah, I fancy <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Bat handling, that would have been the appropriate um, yes. holiday, um, present for this year, wouldn't it? Let's see, what are your aims for next year? Aims for next year. Um, I'm not sure they're that suitable for general publication because they are probably well finishing the, get, getting a big chunk more done on the house. Yeah. Got some business restructuring and things to do, and um, yeah, it's boring. Yeah. It's financial. Getting stuff done on the house. Um, hopefully having a couple of holidays. Oh, getting away. To, yes, going on yeah. holiday. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, um, and getting a vaccination for coronavirus. Well, apparently, the only getting... place you can really go at the uh, at the moment is is, is the Maldives, which is uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a tough job. But if I have to do it, I may uh, yeah. I may subject myself. Um, yeah, get, getting out of tier two. Would that be it? Yeah, no, you don't want to get out of tier two because there's only one place you go from tier two. <laughs> it's tier three. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Cornwall. <laughs> well, that's worse than tier three, let's be honest. 
<laughs> just offended a load of people who live in Cornwall. Sorry everyone in Cornwall, I love Cornwall, it's very pretty. Um, but we are a bit concerned that all your hotels have hiked the prices tremendously. Having looked at the price of a uh, very nice hotel on the cliff in Newquay that we've been to before recently. I don't think they're listening to you. No, but, yeah. Come on, another mince pie, we're mince 20 pie minutes number four. In. Right, okay. Question for you and Ashley is what does your Christmas day look like and what do you serve for Christmas dinner and who cooks it? I can answer you the last bit. I have never cooked a Christmas dinner in my life. True story. Ashley has always, always cooked Christmas dinner. Um, yeah, I've, I've never cooked a Christmas. I, I help. I peel vegetables and do kitchen portering and washing up and stuff but I've never been in charge of cooking a Christmas dinner and um, yes there we are so Ashley always cooks. Um, Christmas day has looked different the last few years we used to always host Christmas here and um, have family my parents and Ashley's mum and Ashley's dad died about 10 years ago mm -hmm, yeah. years ago something like that and he, he doesn't come, come anymore. <laughs> No, he doesn't. In spirit, I'm sure he joins us. I do um, dream about him on Christmas Eve. He comes to me at night <laughs> wearing chains and... Uh, chains? Yeah, yeah, chains. Yeah, clanking chains and tells me about Christmas past, Christmas future oh, and I Christmas present gonna... that are going to visit me. Uh, nice. and, uh, I thought yeah. you were going to say in a jolly red suit, but no, your mind wasn't going No, around. he used to wear that before, yeah, for the kids. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. And wellies. <laughs> Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Yes. Um, the last two years, our Christmas has been different. Last year we had friends, our best friends over, and their family, who are almost like family anyway. We've known them for so long, and we'll get on really well with their kids. And we had a really nice Christmas. That was a real mm. change and mm -hmm. was very different. And this year we were due to be going to them for Christmas, but it looks like that is not going to happen now. So who knows what this Christmas will look like. We're going to my parents on Boxing Day. Um, but I don't know about Christmas Day yet. How's the mince pies going? We're on to the last mince pie. Cool. They weren't um, warm and they didn't have cream with them, which may have made a difference. <laughs> Do you want to start again? Well, no, I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah you could pies. argue these are tasted cold, yeah, yeah. au naturel. Um, well, maybe it gives you a clearer idea of what they're like rather than smothering them in cream. Mm. Everything tastes better covered in cream, doesn't it? Let's mm -hmm. be honest. Right. I was going to ask you a question, but you've just had a big gobful of mince pies, so... Question to you and Ashley, when we can travel again, where are you planning to go? Everywhere! Really soon, I hope! Um, I'd love to go to Las Vegas again. I'd like to take Ashley to Las Vegas. He hasn't been. I went with my friend last time. Um, I'd like to... Oh, I'd, I'd like to go everywhere. I just want, I just want to travel again. I couldn't... No, anywhere would do, frankly. I am actually planning a video in the new year talking about travel plans and hopefully plans, maybe just aspirations, but hopefully um, plans, so there'll be more of that in that. Right, a couple of questions for Ashley, if you've emptied your mouth, you have. Um, how does Ashley feel about your YouTube channel? Um... Sorry, I don't understand social media. Facebook is a mystery to me, although my business uses it and stuff. The whole site is completely unintuitive. And we're not talking about Facebook, YouTube. Well, that's, well, how YouTube, you what's about the difference? See, here we go. This to differ with my social media, right? I know they have different names. I don't really understand the significance of, of either. I did look at a YouTube video of a product I was thinking of buying for my business earlier today again, but. but have no. you ever watched one of my YouTube videos? Probably. Not that I can remember recently. You have watched, because we watched back recently, our cruise videos. Yes, that was good. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't, yeah, they're videos that you show me. It's not, I yeah, never, so I've he, never... He, has yeah. ne he wouldn't know how to find my YouTube channel. Yes, well, I would. I could do if I wished to, but yes. as I say, it's a mystery to me, so I don't do it. I don't blame him. I, I, no, I don't feel that he should go and watch my videos. I don't want to know about every single house he sells, you know. Everybody has their own things that they do, don't they? Um, and that's a good thing, I always think. Um, this is another interesting question, sort of related to that. Do you ever find the filming intrusive? This may be quite intrusive, depending on the feedback and stuff that you get, but I'll never see it anyway, so it doesn't matter. 
<laughs> Sorry, if everybody hates you, I'll make sure to tell you. Yeah, oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. And do you have a big social media presence? I have someone who does that for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, only recently, but yes, I have, I, I have a business and I, I have someone engaged to do that for me. You have um, a Facebook page. You do, yeah, it's rubbish uh, at the moment. Only for but a I few have, friends. Yeah. No, no, I meant your personal one. It's oh, on God, Facebook, yeah, I, but you What, twice Facebook. a year? I think Six. we've done it. Oh, favourite Christmas memories of Christmas as children. Favourite memories of Christmas as children. When I was a child, we used to make, we used to spend Christmas with friends of my parents and their two kids who were similar age to myself and my brother Nick and we used to just have the loveliest Christmases and I couldn't tell you a particular memory of Christmas but just so many general memories of Christmas times spent with them really special and um, yeah, I look back on Christmases as a child with um, great fondness we had many um, yeah, many, I think 16 Christmases with them from when I was very small till when I was a teenager and all lovely. Any Christmas memories as a child? Um, My phone's ringing, it's Faye. I remember when I was very young coming down one Christmas morning Hi, can I ring you back? and there was a Oh, okay, I'll bring you back in a few minutes. A wigwam tent okay, set up in front of the fireplace where I'd left the carrot and the mince pie. And also a second-hand scale electric set um, with the cigarette-shaped old racing cars. That's 1960-something. And that's my most Christmassy ever Christmas <laughs> memory. Aww. Uh, it's a long time ago. I can tell you that I've recently been to my mother, whose mother's house had a clear out, and that wigwam is in her shed. Is it? Yeah, it's all rotten and it's due for the bin now, but it was like four um, bamboo canes and printed wigwams. So it's probably not PC Aww. to give people cowboys and Indian wigwams anymore, but probably not, there we go. Hand. So, that's all the questions answered. I hope that was interesting. Um, on to the mince pies. Tell me which was, let me get the boxes so I can tell you which was, which was your favourite? Well, there was a clear winner and something very interesting has happened, right? Yeah. So I, I scored, I ranked the mince pies from one to five for look, texture, taste, and my preference, right? Okay. Um, that was slightly skewed because immediately number one was eliminated uh, because it was not a mince pie and it only got two points. Shall what I tell it? you what number one is? Yeah. It was a Lidl salted caramel and salted caramel crumble mince pie. It's not a mince pie. Not so. a mince pie. I ate one of those the other day and I actually thought it tasted quite nice but I do agree that it's not quite a mince pie. That's right, so two points. It's, um, it didn't taste very mince pie-y. Okay. When I added up all the scores, because I'd ranked, ranked the others one to four in order, mm. a strange thing happened. Number two, number three and number four all scored nine points. Oh. So they were all acceptable mince pies with merits. Yeah. Number five was the clear winner with six points. Right. Oh my goodness, the winner was Mr. Kipling. Yeah. Well, he does make exceedingly good cakes. <laughs> and if you could send me a large check, that would be lovely. Thank yeah. you. Not sponsored, but if Mr. Kipling would like to sponsor us, there's a thumbnail <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Mr. Kipling, who knew? Yeah, the was... other ones were, number three was, um, these were all joint second, this was the test, please taste the difference, Sainsbury's or Tesco? Sainsbury's, isn't it? Taste the difference, filled with brandy infused mince meat and all butter pastry. I like their box best. Uh, there was also the Tesco finest mince pies with cognac, brandy and port for the alcoholics amongst you. 
And also, you see, I thought this this was the one that you said looked really plain. This was the Marks and I mean, Yeah, it did look plain. I marked it down. It was the it's lowest so score for looking. Oh, really? Yeah, I got the lowest score. I would have thought you'd like that because it's quite traditional looking. No, I've got very good on taste and overall refer a rating, but it yeah, was so, so but a mid -range I, I rated it the, the least attractive mince pie. Make some effort, Sainsbury's, please. You know, it's Marks and Spencer. Oh, Marks and Spencer. So sorry, Marks and Spencer. Yeah. Make some effort. You eat with your eyes. You do. Very true that. A lot of it with your eyes. So yeah, that is the winner. That is the failure. That's... And all the others were not too bad at all. Was there any? No, so no, all there of those you would no, eat, yes, apart all from the... the one you took well, against. No, well, I, I would eat the one I took against, but you can't call it a mince pie. <laughs> right. Okay. <You> know. <laughs> Right, that is it. Thank you very much for joining us this evening or, or this morning or whenever you're watching it. I hope you found that entertaining. Excuse me, I've got a week number five. Finish it off, thank you. <laughs> Waste mm. not, one not. Um, yeah, if Mr Kipling wants to sponsor us. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more Vlogmas. Thank you, Ashley, for joining me for this. And, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Mm. Do you want... Can you stop stuffing your face and say goodbye then? <laughs> I'll edit it out. <sighs> just, just wave. Have a Kipling good Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>